okay good morning students present topic is interpolation with unequal intervals in this the first method is newton's divided difference formula method let the given data be let the given data with unequal intervals of x be x0 x1 x2 x3 and so on x and corresponding y values y0 y1 y2 y3 and so on again earlier we saw with x values equally spaced now unequally spaced then the newton's divided difference interpolation formula is as follows y of x is equal to f of x is equal to y0 plus x minus x0 into y of x0 from x1 plus x minus x0 into x minus x1 into y of x0 comma x1 comma x2 plus x minus x0 into x minus x1 into x minus x2 into y of x0 comma x1 comma x2 comma x3 plus and so on. Here, this highlighted one unknown values, these are called Newton's divided differences. Newton's divided differences. These highlighted ones we are going to calculate using the table. That table is called divided differences table. These are called divided differences, which are defined as follows. First order formula, second order differences, the corresponding formula, <clears throat> and the third order differences corresponding formula. In, instead of this formula, in the table you can see easily. We can represent the above divided differences easily in a divided differences table. This Newton's divided difference interpolation formula is also called as Newton's general interpolation formula. So this formula you can use in not only for unequally spaced, equal spaced also you can use. This is called, that is particularly for equally spaced, Newton's forward and backward interpolation formula. This is general interpolation formula. You can use for any one, any type okay, for problems. Using Newton's divided difference formula, estimate f of 9 from the following data. X values are given, corresponding function values are given. Now if you observe, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. These are not equally spaced. Okay. From the given data, we have x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, and y0, y1, y2, y3, y4. We know that the Newton's divided difference formula is formula united. Take it as equation 1. Now, the above divided differences can be obtained from the following table. First, x values x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 y values y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 <clears throat> and first order divided differences are y of x0 comma x1 how it will come is numerator is these two differences and the denominator is these two differences divided differences y1 minus y0 divided by x1 minus x0 similarly next to this one then second order differences numerator values are first order differences Denominator values are extreme end values, x0 and x2. Here, x1 and x3. Here, x2 and x4. Num numerators are previous differences only. Then, third order. See, why you are not going for fourth order means these are the same values. Same values difference is 0. Numerator is 0 means everything is 0. So, 0 into anything is 0. So, no need to consider. Now, list out the upper diagonal values only here also, then substitute in the formula. Substitute in the formula, you will get f of minus 810. Next. So, construct the Newton's divided difference interpolation polynomial from the following data. So, instead of asking particular value, it is asked to construct the polynomial, which satisfies these given values. We list out x values and y values, Newton's divided difference formula, and the table for divided differences, x values and y values, first order difference, divided differences, second order divided differences, third order divided differences, fourth order. Take the upper diagonal values, which is required to substitute in the above formula, substitute in the formula equation one, and simplify you will get the polynomial as 3x power 4 minus 5x cube plus 6x square minus 14x plus 5. Next, evaluate f of 8, f of 9, and f of 15 from the following data. Same, 
list out x values and y values, list out Newton's interpolation formula, divided difference interpolation formula, and divided differences table x values, f of x, y values, first order differences, second order differences, third order differences, same, not required the fourth order differences. Even if you take also zero will come, uh, generally not required. Up to here only depend. Now substitute the values in the interpolation formula. Okay. We are finding the polynomial here. Why? Because means it is asked for three to four values. So better to take the polynomial and substitute the required points f of 8, f of 9, and f of 15. Okay. Next, fit the cubic polynomial which passes through the points 2, 4, 4, 56, 9, 711, and 10, 980 by using the Newton general interpolation formula. List out x values and y values. List out the Newton's general interpolation formula or divided difference interpolation formula. Construct the divided differences table, x values, y values, first order differences, second order differences, and third order differences. Substitute in the formula. You will get the polynomial. Next, here instead of giving points, they mention terms of suffix. Instead of y, they use it as u. U naught means at 0 it is given, 1 is given, 4 at 8 and at 10 is given. List out those values as x naught, u naught. <clears throat> so u I am taking it as y, same procedure by the Newton's divide difference formula. You have to take divide differences table, x values, u equal to y values, first order differences, second order differences, third order, both are same. So fourth order not required. With the above values, equation one gives y equal to y of x is equal to u of x polynomial came. Then, if you want any particular value, you can substitute. These are the problems for practice. Okay, in the same manner, you can practice these problems.